Welcome to this tutorial guys and in this tutorial we will see how we can enable Hyper-V in Windows 11. So first of all we will check if our system supports Hyper-V or not and then we will enable Hyper-V. So okay let's get started. So first press Windows R and type S. Okay just a minute. Type MS Info 32. This shows a lot of system settings like OS name, version, so as you can see I am running Windows 11 Home or version and now you can go down and you will see this a hypervisor has been detected, features required for Hyper-V will not be displayed. So what this means is we don't actually have Hyper-V but we have some kind of hypervisor. So uh, if this is what you are seeing right now, no need to worry. You can still do virtualizations and you can still run virtual machines. So but let's see what's the case. Another case can be that your Hyper-V is already running. So as you can see, it says a hypervisor has been deject detected. That means that Hyper-V might already be running. And if it is not running, you will see your system specifications here and you can figure out if your system supports Hyper-V or not. Okay. But in my case, let's see if Hyper-V is already running. If not, what other, uh, you know, hypervisor do we have? Okay. So let's close this. Now let's go to control panel. Let's go to programs and features and if we have view by in category, we need to go to programs in, in both the case, then inside you'll go, go to programs and features and here on the side, you can see turn windows features on or off. On or off. Okay. So you can go through, you can scroll down below and here you can see I have windows hypervisor platform, but not hyper V. So it can be because Hyper-V uh, is also similar to this hypervisor platform. If you have hypervisor platform, it has the same job as Hyper-V. So you can just enable this. Actually, the hypervisor platform is the underlying technology for Hyper-V. So even if Hyper-V is not listed, it should provide the necessary virtualization capabilities and you should be fine. If you are not fine, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so you can just enable this and you click OK. If you have Hyper-V, click Hyper-V. Uh, if you don't, if you have this hypervisor, then you can enable hypervisor. It's the same technology. Okay, so now you are seeing Windows need a reboot. So I'll restart later. Okay, so now our Hyper-V or hypervisor is enabled. So now we can use the virtualization technologies 